guys, uh, this video I'm gonna show you the uh, how to set up the uh, casual wall. Okay, so because in each company and each uh, in each brand, there is a strategy, there is a guidelines on how to set up. But in this one, you can use it in everywhere. You can use it anywhere, everywhere. You can use it in any brand. Okay, because it's very it's very simple and it's very um, commercial but elegant and of course uh, classic glamour and contemporary so please watch this video until the end and i hope you like it guys and if you are new in this uh, channel please don't forget to thumbs up uh, comment and of course uh, subscribe and share and please don't forget to ring the notification bell so you will be updated in all the videos that I have uploaded. So let's do this. So as you can see here, it's empty wall. Okay, empty wall. So I'm gonna set up the casual wall. Here we go. First, I have to show you how to put the layout. First thing, first things first, you have to make the layout. Okay, layout first, and then like uh, steel sidebars and etc. So you have to check the height first, the height of the uh, the wall, and of course you have to think also the customers how they can pick up the items, if it is pickable or so high or so low. So you have to start from the down and it depends upon the items if it is dress it depends so you have to start from the right side okay and down down then right okay right side down you have to start it until you go to the left okay please watch the video guys thank you so layout first layout So since we gotta put uh, facing, okay, facing all four faces, okay, four facing frontal, what they call frontal, four frontals, and uh, one sidebars, or what they call the rail here. So this is the layout. Okay. Remember the symmetry, okay, the vertical or or the horizontal, okay. So it depends upon the wall. So this one is the symmetrical lines okay so it's simple now it's simple i have four frontals and one rail sidebars okay so now i'm gonna put the items for casual let's watch this so since this 3d so i'm gonna put directly guys because while now doing what we are doing is swapping you know swapping we have to move the walls because now it will become 40% uh, fall winter collections and 60% new collections
in some brands, in any other brands, they are not doing like this, okay? Uh, depends on how the, the concept and the, the strategy or the new, the new concept of the brand. But here, we do like this. So what I'm doing now is refill, okay, refill, just take from there and refill, okay, because I'm moving only the, mo the wall right now, because it's ready. So we we'll use uh, we always use uh, plastic, okay, to be like this. Put the pantalon like this. So three facing are ready. Um, only one more and one sidebar. So as you can see, as I told before, every brand, every company, there is a different concept, different guidelines that you have to follow. But here, we do like this. But here, since uh, it's a small wall, a small wall, only five elements, and need to put the communications and uh, decoys displays up, so you have to add two shelves up.
supposed to be two facing of the dress but I only put one and put together the two colors okay three shelves and so the the merchandising is done I'm gonna do the display the course with communications. Of course, if it's too high, you have to use ladder. So that's it. That's the casual one. And remember, if there's an extra at the back, you can put additional bag, additional item at the back so it will be full, so it will be commercialized. And of course, still there's an empty, so you have to add this t-shirt with the uh, correspond to the first one.
should be like this. But of course, I have to complete it with the shoes. So that's it. So as you can see, it's done already guys. It's too light, casual. Here. Extra. Of course the shoes is done. One pair. One pair. One pair. Okay, it's like one set. One outfit, one outfit. Okay, same. Here's sidebars. So jeans with this because we have two motions and jeans, we have to put communications. Display and touch one. So I hope you like the video and uh, please give me a thumbs up and share this information to all aspiring visual merchandisers around the world, especially for the Filipinos and in any nationalities. So not only for me, not only for the Filipinos, but everyone who, as who aspired aspires to to be a visual merchandiser. It's very important. Remember that read, uh, remember that visual remember that visual merchandising is the best is the uh, fundamental of retail company it's a very important factor in retail company okay so that's it for today and that's a casual world casual world that we have okay so thank you for watching and much love to everyone see ya thanks for watching